is sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease, or SCD, is an inherited group of blood disorders in which red blood cells contain an abnormal form of hemoglobin. The abnormal hemoglobin proteins create rigid rows within the red blood cells, causing them to deform or become sickle-shaped. The red blood cells also turn hard and sticky, making it difficult for blood to flow smoothly through the blood vessels, and cells can build up, causing potential blockages. Red blood cells are responsible for delivering oxygen from the lungs to all the tissues of the body. When blood isn't flowing smoothly through the vessels or there are blockages present due to sickle cell, some cells don't receive the oxygen they vitally need. This leads to a wide array of symptoms in people with sickle cell disease. The oxygen-depleted tissues cause repeated episodes of sharp, stabbing pain, which can be unpredictable in severity and duration. The location of the tissues affected determines the specific symptoms and risks. When blood flow to the lungs is obstructed, there can be fever and difficulty breathing. When the spleen is affected, the immune system is compromised, increasing the risk for infection. Blockage to vessels around the eye can lead to visual disturbances, including a detached retina. And in cases where blood flow to the brain is affected, a person can potentially suffer a stroke. Because sickled red blood cells can only survive 10 to 20 days, as compared to a healthy red blood cell's lifespan of four months, sickle cell disease causes a consistent, harmful deficiency in red blood cell supply, known as sickle cell anemia. Treatment for sickle cell disease is centered around pain management, infection prevention, and controlling the associated complications. Pain is most often treated by acetaminophen, NSAIDs, or opioids, and every individual should have a pain treatment plan prescribed from their healthcare provider. Vaccinations are the best defense against certain bacteria and viruses that are especially dangerous to individuals with sickle cell disease. And finally, blood transfusions can be used to treat both symptoms and complications of sickle cell disease, with some individuals needing up to 100 units of blood each year. While stem cell or bone marrow transplants are a potential cure for sickle cell disease, they carry significant associated risks and limitations. The pain and complications from sickle cell disease can be unpredictable, but certain factors are known to trigger an acute crisis. These include dehydration, intense physical activity, exposure to extreme temperatures, infection, stress, and caffeine. In addition to schools being prepared with individualized health plans, specific medical orders, and acute emergency response, students with sickle cell disease should be provided appropriate accommodations to help manage their symptoms, prevent crisis from occurring, and to best support their physical and emotional well-being. In addition to their academic success, typical accommodations can include pacing exercise and allowing modifications or rest during PE and recess, providing unlimited access to water throughout the school day in order to remain hydrated, allowing frequent trips to the bathroom, giving careful attention to temperatures in the classrooms and during physical education class, as well as avoiding application of cold packs, ensuring students receive copies of notes, extra time for homework, projects, and tests due to frequent absences, educating school staff on rapid recognition of potential emergent symptoms, including a high fever, decreased mental status, a swollen abdomen, or any other severe, persistent pain in students with sickle cell disease. And finally, nurture and nourish the student's mental and emotional health through collaboration with school counselors and other appropriate team members. Living with sickle cell disease is challenging, inconvenient, and uniquely painful. With knowledge, advocacy, compassion, and support, schools can provide safe environments where children with sickle cell disease can fully thrive. Brought to you by your friends at McGill. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss more videos that will help promote health and safety in your school community.